Can I ask you all a huge favour? Can I first of all say a huge thank you for, for those of you who are here tonight? I really appreciate it. But all of this, all these cameras, all these phones, <laughs> everyone filming me. Can you put this to good use? Because I'm so sorry about our stop and fights. I'm so it's been a hell of a week. It's been one damn thing after another, as someone once famously said. <laughs> But what I really want to do is try and enlist you. I don't use social media. This, this is part of it. Photographs, whatever, outside, fine. I can see cameras, I can see red lights in the auditorium. And it may not be any of you here that did that, but it's blinding the obvious, like that one there, that little red light. It's very, very obvious. So when we started again tonight, to be or not to be, which is not the easiest place to be going to play, full stop. But for the second time, even harder. I could see a red light in about the third row on the right. It's mortifying. Uh, there's nothing less supportive or enjoyable than that to be on stage experiencing that. And I can't give you what I want to give you, which is a live performance that you will remember, hopefully in your minds and brains, whether it's good, bad or indifferent, rather than on your phones. So please don't, and it will get strict from now on. They've got devices that are coming on a Monday that will have people detected and evicted. So we, I don't want that to happen. That's a horrible way to have to police what's a wonderful thing. Um, so listen, this isn't me blaming you, this is just me asking you to just ripple it out there in a brilliant, beautiful way that you do with your funny electronic things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, set over my pipe and book. Um, and I, I really appreciate it. So God bless you all and thank you very much for being horn by British scientists. They hope it'll be a key weapon in the fight against poaching. You need to catch the poacher red-handed and that's what we're setting out to do and that's what we can do. Dr Paul O'Donoghue has worked in rhino conservation